Hey guys, in today's video, you are going to learn the tactics, the two tactics called the pin and the skewer. And they are similarly alike, but there is one difference and I'm going to tell you that also. And please like, share, subscribe and subscribe to my ch channel always because I love that support. And it makes me want to create new videos. And please comment down below because I would love to hear your free feedback. And this is my new series called Tactics You Must Know. So let's get started. the topic of skewers you need to know this to master the art of pins but first of all what is a skewer well I'll show I'm gonna show you an example right now here's an example of what a skewer might look like look at this the black king is the one who's in check but there's but there's the queen behind it so once so once the king moves then we just take this and i think this will be an easy win for you you got two past pawns and black and black needs to move his rook somewhere since it's in danger and you have a, ma another minor piece. And black is just trying to make these pawns, but they will never get anywhere because of this dark squared bishop. Because of this dark squared bishop. And if the king is just in the center always, then it can be an easy win for white. So basically what a skewer is, is an important piece such as the king that you have to move is called a skewer. Let me show you an example of a relative skewer. This is a four skewer. He has to move the piece that, that is being attacked first. Now let me show you a relative skewer. Here is an example of a relative pin. See, black can move this queen anywhere she wants to, but she but but he doesn't but black doesn't have to. He black can just, you know, simply just move the rook and takes and takes. What black most likely would do is c go here to defend this and notice now once takes, now once the bishop takes, black can just take and it's still normal. But for the sake of this video, I put this example so now let's get to the position I wanted to show you. It's a black move in this position. And you might be thinking black is totally going to win because he gets his queen first. But does he really? Let's see. A5. Once A5 happens. A5 happens. Then H4 happens, and this puzzle, this game comes from the movie Bobby Fischer. If you have watched it, then at the end you have seen this position. If you haven't, then I do recommend it, and I'll put the link in the below in the description box below. So, then what black does is a4, and now white does h5, black does a3, and then 
H6 happens. And then A2 happens. And then H7 happens. And now it promotes to a queen. But here's the thing that Black forgot. Once Black promotes to his own queen, he has a skewer of his own. And once the king moves somewhere else, it's super sad that Black is now completely lost. Now, here's a puzzle. Can you find the mate in eight moves? Please, please take some time to figure this out. I'll give you some time now. Well, the answer is after king to b3, then queen to d4, king to c2, white king goes to c2, king to b3, king to e4, king to a3, queen to c3, check, check, king a2, king d3, king b1, queen b4, check, King A2 check, King A2, King C3, King to A1, and the finishing move is King, Queen to B2, checkmate. Wow! Alright, now let's talk about a pin. So this is what a pin might look like. Now, this rook is just pinned. Can't move anywhere because, well, it exposes the king. And if you are watching this video, you probably know that you are not allowed to put your own king in danger. So you can't move it. Now, here's a puzzle. I want you to make a pin. How about with the queen and the king? Pause your videos and figure how to do it for white. Well, the answer is, well, you have two answers here. Let's just choose this rook. You can do either rook to e1 and black automatically loses the queen and eventually the rook if he's not careful. And this is how a pin is now in our last example you are going to know have to know the knowledge of pins and skewers to solve this one so let's go to our example in our last example can you figure out what the correct move is well the correct move is the rook sacrifice the rook, the rook takes on e6, and once the queen takes, well, it's pretty obvious, you use a skewer now, and he can take, and then once you take your up three pawns, you should win this endgame pretty easily, and you should promote to a pawn pretty easily, like this past pawn, this past pawn can go places and and the king will have to stop him but meanwhile you can just get your king and just take these pawns and move these up the board and make a queen you needed the knowledge of a pin for that but what about the skewer well you might be realizing that the king can also take this too so you just 
do this and once the king moves it doesn't even cost you a bishop so the skewer is more 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 powerful than the pin and the difference between a pin and a skewer is a pin has has a less valuable piece is in front is a less valuable piece and in the back is a very valuable piece and the skewer is the, the exact opposite so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and like it and share it with your friends and comment down below because once again i'd love to hear your feedback Bye bye